So in this episode, we used the Roblox High School. Um, this is a kit that comes with our two characters here, the skateboards, of course, that we used, um, and the lockers, and also you get that reading book as well. And again, you can mix and match all these parts, and we get a, a code to redeem so we can play in Roblox. So um, you can see here our characters pictured on the back, but I think what we need to do is get this open so you can see how we got on. So we will just cut through here. Is Roblox a game you're still playing a lot of? My kids are really enjoying loads of the games, particularly the sort of the tsunami and survival games. And those <laughs> sim games. But this one, Roblox High School, is what we're looking at today. And so we've got these two characters, and we should have our little basic on. Over here we've got our list. So these are the figures you can collect. I want to know, have you got have you got any of these yet? So if we look through here, you can see there's absolutely loads. All your favourite Roblox. Chicken Man! I love Chicken Man. Characters to collect. Epic Miner. Classic noob. He always makes me laugh. All those cool characters. You can collect these in the packs, but you can also, of course, collect them in the um, boxes as well. We've got these little boxes you can open. Okay, it's all 40 figures. Now, here we go, Roblox High School. We've got our high school gal and high school dude. <laughs> so, let's get them out. So here's our high school gal. Nice, and what I like about these Roblox characters is the way you can pose them. So we do these little animations with them, and the fact that you can move their legs like this means that you can get them into all sorts of really nice poses and actually they're much better than some of the other figures we use. They're easier to work with than say some of the PJ Masks characters that only bend in the middle and are a little bit floppy. But the Roblox ones, as you'll have seen in our episode today, you can make them walk around, you can make them do all sorts of things um, just by doing that stop motion animation. And of course I think we get, a, oh she's got a long hair at the back. Her hat pops off, <laughs> nice. Back on, and of course, you can mix and match all the parts. I think for these ones, mixing up the boy and the girl part is going to be something that will be quite fun. Here's our high school dude, nice scarf, <laughs> and again, you got those poseable legs. These ones are a little bit easier to pose. Um, and I think his hair will come off. Bonk. Now, what happens if we do this? <laughs> How does he look? Do you want a nice pink hat? Yeah, I don't know. I think he gets away with it. <laughs> he reminds me of Doctor Who. Nice. We've also got the reading book, but is it a book or is it a hat? So you can pop it on the head. <laughs> Love it. Um, and then, of course, what was popular in our episode with the skateboards, everybody wanted to play on the skateboards and it caused a bit of a ruckus. <laughs> But they're nice, and I like the way that they're um, branded on the bottom. We've got those Roblox lo logos, but this Roblox lo logo is old now because this is the new Roblox logo. So it's funny, you've got the toys, have got the classic logo, but then the logo's changed and on the packaging it's different. So you've got those two skateboards. And then, how do get these out? Whoops, we've 
got our lockers. What's inside? Do you have a locker at school? Ugh. Keep all your stuff. I guess we can probably put the skateboards in the lockers so they're nice and safe. Pop them away. There you go. So there's all that. And of course we've got our code. Should we share this code with you? Uh, the first person to use this code means that they'll be able to get those. Oh, I have to do it down here, I think. <laughs> Come on! I think the first person to use this code means that you'll be able to get the little item. We're not going to use this today, but you pop this into your Roblox account. And it means you get a special item when you're playing online. So 301 927 253834. So tell us in the comments, did you manage to use this code? Did it work for you? And there you go, we've got our, our high school. Let's get this in, back into the right order, I think. Pop her hat on. Get his hair on the right way round. Got the reading book. Now, of course, last episode, we, we looked at the chef. Ooh. Which wasn't the high, which it wasn't the high school, which was the work at a pizza place. And we had a, a, a nice little fun playing with um, the chef. Here we go. <laughs> the chef. And the delivery boy. And you can see there's still a bit of blue tack on the bottom that helps it helps him stay up. And we've got some blue tack on the bottom of our whoops, our chef's feet. And that's because we made a little stop animation. Bit of fun with the PJ masks. Woo! He's gone. With the PJ masks were hungry, and they needed to get um, some some food. So we got them ordering some Roblox pizza. And all we had to do, you just pop you pop it down. Okay, have you ever done this? You take a picture like that and then you move it a little bit and because the Roblox characters and then you take another picture because they've got this articulation can you see how it's quite easy to do this and then whoops there you go get him posed and by doing that and taking little, little pictures each time he goes you end up with an animation of the character walking and you can turn his head and all things like that. Um, and these pizza, these pizza figures we really liked. As you can see in the little story that we're, that we're playing, you have to get the pizzas out of the pizza delivery guy. Nice, tiny little pizza. If I get that really close to the camera, where are we gonna be? There you go. Builder Brothers Pizza, really cute. Pop that in there. So we're really enjoying these Roblox toys. They're certainly adding another dimension, both to our enjoyment of Roblox the game, but also just toys in their own right. I have a lot of fun on the channel. <laughs> Making some adventures with them and the different stuff they come with. I think it's really, you know, it, it feels like the game. It's sort of playful like the game. We've got another another pack here that we'll be opening in our next episode and we'll create a little, a little animation for you of those as well. And of course, we've got our, our Roblox cube here. So let us know. Are you going to be getting in on these Roblox toys when they come out? I think they're about to hit stores as we speak. And also, do you also watch any PJ Masks? It's hard to, I was just wondering if that's the same sort of age. Do you think PJ Masks is a bit younger? Maybe Roblox is a bit, a bit older? But certainly I think my kids often will watch some PJ Masks and will, be, will still be playing Roblox. And we've got these big, like these big PJ Masks characters here. So... That's all we've got time for, I think, on Family Gamer TV today. But let us know in the comments what you think of our episode and which of these Roblox packs do you think is going to be the best one to jump in on. If you subscribe to the channel, that means that we can let you know when we've got more content and you need to click that little bell now as well because then you get a notification that says, hey, we've got a new video on Roblox or Skylanders or Lego Dimensions or perhaps it's a PJ Masking again. So... Thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. We're seeing our subs really go up, up, up. So that's really exciting. We don't take that for granted. Count it as a big privilege. So thanks again. <laughs> but from Roblox and from PJ Mask and from me, we'll say goodbye. Bye.